Through the use of sidecar and window tiling, you can monitor multiple Google Meet breakout sessions simultaneously. To do this, first sidecar your iPad. Once your sidecar is loaded, you can open multiple tabs for your breakout rooms. Since I'm screen recording, I'm not going to be able to do this because the processor on the MacBook will not be able to handle that. So I'm going to use just a fake Google link and I'm going to open it multiple times. If you're not screen recording simultaneously, you can accomplish this with uh, a simple i3 processor. So once you have your four tabs open, what you want to do is you want to click on one and drag it down to open a new window. Once you've done that for two of your tabs, you could then drag those tabs to your secondary screen on your sidecar. And once you do that, you want to then have the two tabs open on separate, separate screens on your main screen as well. So overall, I'm going to have four tabs open across two screens. To tile these, what I want to do is click on the top tab, get my maximize button and hover over it. It gives me my tiling options. I want to tile the windows and then I can tile with the other one that's open on that screen. And I'm going to do the same thing on my main screen. Click on the tab, hover over the green and then tile the windows. At this point, you'll be entering four Google Meets. You'll want to mute your microphone on each, shut off the camera on each, and then uh, you'll be hearing, so once you join, you'll be hearing the audio from all of your Google Meets. And so this can be overwhelming, so what you could do is you can mute each tab. This is accomplished, uh, I'm using Firefox, and so there's a hotkey for muting tabs in Firefox and you just click on the tab and hit control M and it will mute that tab. So you'll mute three of the tabs and have um, one of them with live audio and you could switch. You could also mute tabs using Chrome by doing option shift M. This is also accomplished by clicking on either uh, browser. And then you could also click to mute on Safari browsers, but there's no hotkey for doing this, but you can install one. And so if you go into your settings, your system preferences, and you go and click on your keyboard settings, and then go to shortcuts, and then you go to app shortcuts, and then you're going to add a new app shortcut. So hit the plus sign, select Safari, which is in the S's, and then the menu title is going to be mute this tab and then you can make it whatever keyboard shortcut you'd like so i'm just going to do control m and then that is going to be a new shortcut for safari and so um, what i have found is when you are doing this it can be difficult uh, for some students think that you're actively monitoring their group and only their group and so they might ask you a question verbally uh, this can be problematic because uh, they'll say hey uh, teacher I need help and you won't know which panel it's coming from and so what I've told my students to do is while I'm monitoring their group it can be difficult to identify where audio is coming from and so I tell them that they should um, write in the chat and that way a notification will pop up and you'll know exactly which uh, meeting needs your attention so I hope this was helpful